So my last convention was Otacon 2016 back in August, and this was actually my first Otacon, and for many it was their possibly last because it is moving to the Gaylord in um, DC, and it's always been at the Baltimore Convention Center, so I never got to experience the craziness that is Otacon, but at least I experienced a little taste of it with my first year going to it, and I'll be, it might be my last because I usually try to do Katsukon in DC already, so I don't know if money's gonna line up to go to Otacon again, but I still enjoyed it. And I got stuff because, you know, whenever you go to a con, you spend your hard money on merchandise and art and all that junk. Well, not really junk. It's things I treasure and adore. This is a haul video because who doesn't love videos about people showing the stuff they got at events? So let's do it. Yeah. So I'm going to start with like the smaller things and work my way up to the bigger things I got because I guess it's a organized way of doing it. So let's start with the pins because you know you gotta get at least 20 billion pins at a convention before you have succeeded in your conventionness buying. Yeah, I'm not good at the phrases today. But anyways, here are all the pins I got at Otakon. I got a Dance Magic Dance Jareth pin, a really cute Nightwing pin, a Order of the White Lotus tile, a really funny grunting Batman pin, a Gunther pin, a Marceline pin, and for my keychains, I got a Team Mystic keychain, a Jake the Dog keychain, and a Marceline keychain. So next, in our train of working our way up through small merch to big merch, I'm gonna show you some patches I got because patches are awesome and I like to put them on my jackets with my studs because I'm a rocker and a nerd and all that good stuff. Um, so here are my patches. I got three patches this year and it was like this cool stand that had them and they had unique ones. And they weren't just like, you know, like a Pac-Man one or something, which I will get one day for my jacket. But these were ones that I could like put in a range for phrasing, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at this, but here's my first one. Dun, da, da, da. Yes, Pokemon Go has taken over me. And it was my childhood. It was my first anime. One of the first games I ever played. And it was one of the first handheld games I ever played. And I still have my little red old Game Boy with Pokemon Red and it's just it still holds up and I love Pokemon and Pokemon Go makes me be social and go outside. Um, but yes, I am Team Mystic. I really don't care what team you are, but I am Team Mystic. Don't make fun of me for it because I don't make fun of you for what team you choose because you know what? Who cares? They're just teams. Who... Why do people take it so serious? Like, this is the team I prefer to be on, so deal with it. And I don't care if you're on Valor, Mystic, or Instinct, because it's a game. Moving on. Yes, I got a ma mage patch. Yes, I am a mage. Okay, in a fantasy world, I am a mage. Well, this other patch is going to actually connect to what I actually am, because I'm not just a mage, I'm other things. But, first of all... I am a magical person. I love magic. I love fantasy. I love magic. And I am a mage. I like making things happen through my hands and spells and incantations and all that good junk. And I want to have it on my jacket because I have this special vest that I'm going to put all my pins and my patches on to add to my already growing pin collection and studs on it. But yes. Now to go off with that, I got a night patch and yes I go as a battle mage in a lot of my D&D &D games and um, fantasy based games and just a lot of my stories that I write that I project myself onto I'm a battle mage that's just my preference I like wielding swords and throwing spells at people because it's awesome and it's just a, a happy medium because like I don't want to play 
Sometimes when you play full mage, you, you know, you miss the sword. You miss the coolness of having it on your back and swinging it around. So, you know, being a battle mage is a happy medium. And I like the idea of enchanting a weapon to wield magic itself. So, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a knight and a mage because, you know what? I want to be a hero. <laughs>
So that was all the stuff I got at Oticon 2016. It was just another haul video, but I had fun doing it. And it's really hot in my apartment, so I'm gonna put the air on. And yeah.